Hey guys, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, this week we're going to go ahead and continue with lesson 2.2, investigating speciation, which is basically looking at how one common ancestor can descend into two different uh, descendant species. Uh, just a couple of reminders, if you guys need anything, we're here to support you. Make sure you call us at this number or you can email me. Um, for your lesson 2.1, how body structures differ from last week, um, it will be graded and entered on Gradebook by Tuesday. I had some internet issues over the weekend, so I didn't quite get to finish all of your assignments. Um, so it will be graded and completed by Tuesday. Uh, this week, we're again, we're moving on to lesson 2.2. Make sure to complete all sections in order to get full credit. And please make sure you turn it in by this Friday, May 22nd by 5 p.m. And that you click on turn in. If you guys need any help or support, don't forget my office hours are Monday and Tuesday from 9 to 10 a.m. And all you have to do is click on this link and the e password is right here. All right, so <clears throat> for the first activity, the do now, uh, you're going to watch this quick introduction video um, about speciation and make sure that you write down three things that you learned from this video. For your warm-up, you're going to look at these pictures of a gorilla and a mole, and you're going to look at their hand structures. Using these images and what you already know about gorillas and moles, you're going to answer these four questions. For your vocabulary, you have one word to focus on, stability, so you're going to click on the link and define the word here. For activity number three, you're going to read a little bit more about where species come from. Um, and with that, you're going to be looking at the Galapagos tortoises. And as you read, please make sure you catch annotate by highlighting one key point from each paragraph, adding your comment or your question, and then answering the thinking questions on the side. Once you're done with your catch annotations, you're going to move on to activity number four. In activity number four, you're going to look at more closely how one common ancestor population um, is able to kind of break up into two descendant species. So looking at this image here and looking at these reminders, here we have environment A and here we have environment B. For each environment, we have a description about what changes happen, what environmental changes occurred. Uh, so all I want you to do is identify them. So what environmental changes happen in environment A and in environment B? Again, all you have to do is read the captions. Um, and then as soon as you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and move on to the simulation. For that, you're going to continue watching the video that will give you more directions about how to complete the simulation.